Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. You know, there is something powerful about that Sunday morning stirring, right? There's something powerful about stepping into the house and entering into praise and worship and allowing it to settle on us and and joining and participating and lifting up our praise and using our words and our emotion and our action to tell our God, to tell our God how precious he is to us and that we praise him and that we that we recognize his goodness and his faithfulness and that he cares for us there's something so powerful about aligning your words and your heart and your thoughts and your emotions with what you do know and trust about your god amen let's give him again let's give him some praise hallelujah i want to i want to speak really quick from lamentations in chapter 3 and verse 22 it says it is because of the lord's mercy and loving kindness that we are not consumed say i'm not consumed because his tender compassions they fail not say my god is faithful continuing in verse 23 it says they are new every morning great and abundant is his stability and his faithfulness our God is a faithful God he knows what you're walking through he knows what you're enduring he knows what you're what you're the journey that you're on and I am here to tell you trust the process trust him in the midst of the process know that something is is being refined on the inside of you and your God is faithful he sees differently than you and I the word says that his thoughts and his ways are not our thoughts they are not our ways his ways and his thoughts are higher he sees a bigger picture church he sees a bigger picture there are things we cannot see with the natural eye we trust him it's our job to wake up and say God I know you are faithful to do what your word says you're going to do I am going to trust in you I know you're a good God I trust you're a good God I believe you want me to prosper in this life I believe you have great health in mind for me in this life I know you desire that I would be walking in great relationships in this life align your thought align your words align your emotion with what you know of him in here what you know of him having sat through and listened to the word of god being planted on the inside of us i was reading the story in judges chapter 7 we see gideon in 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 that chapter and he's taking the israelite army of 32,000 warriors against the midianite army of 135,000 strong. How many of you think that that is just a little off? He's going, they're going to war. And what is, what happens? Well, Gideon gets a visit from the Lord and the Lord says, you know what? You have too many men. I don't want them to be able to boast in this victory that I'm going to, to give you. So I want you to decrease in number. Say what? <laughs> If I was Gideon, I'd be like, okay, well, can I, can, can, can we just tell them not to boast? Can I keep the men that I have? Can you, can you, can I just give them better skills? That's not what God does. The Lord says, no. He's like, I mean, Gideon doesn't say that. So he releases 22,000 men. He takes his army down to 10,000 men strong. How many of you know that is frightening? <laughs> Against 135,000 warriors strong? God comes to him and visits again and says, you know what, Gideon, you're still too big. That army's still too large. I want you to decrease evermore. And so he, he instructs Gideon to send them in to get a drink. And he says, the ones who kneel versus the ones who cup the water in their hand and lap it uh, as a dog would drink, I want you to send the ones home that kneel. 300 men is what Gideon is left with. <sighs> Okay, (laughs) he trusted God's faithfulness. He trusted the voice of God and he trusted that he was going to march into this battle and be victorious even though he had been cutting and cutting and cutting his army. Again, God sees a different picture. 
God is faithful to his word. He has victory and success for you. Stand on it, believe in it, profess it, praise God for it. Exalt his name above all other name and any strength you think you possess. And know that he is going to see you through it. And it's going to be a greater victory than any victory or strategy you could ever have for yourself and what you're walking through. Amen. Your God is faithful. Say, my God, my God is, faithful, is faithful, and I am not consumed. And I am not consumed. We introduce to you Living Word Virtual Church Community. Each week, we come together during the live stream, chatting with each other through live comment sections. Then, during the week, our virtual church community reconnects in online share groups to discuss the weekend service and study the Word. To sign up, visit the Living Word Virtual Church Community page on our website. We'll see you there.